Hey guys, it's John here with the MuleBot. Today I'm going to show you how to tune in your drivers on your RAM sport. One of the things that I found uh, pretty confusing uh, the first time I set up a RAM sport was setting your drivers to the proper voltage. And this is something that you're going to want to do because too high of a voltage and your drivers and your motors can overheat and too low of a voltage and you can start getting missteps. Uh, so um, this is the MuleBot mostly printed 3D printer which I designed and uh, recently we have started a, a Facebook group that's called Mostly Printed 3D Printers. And uh, the Facebook group is about just that, uh, mostly printed 3D printers or the MuleBot 3D printer here. I hope that it evolves and grows to, as the technology grows to other uh, mostly printed 3D printers. Uh, but if you're interested in RepRap or mostly printed printers, you should really check that out. But a lot of our users are to the point to where they're assembling their printers and uh, just starting to um, put together the ramp board and uh, starting to power it up. So I thought this would be a good time for making this video uh, because when uh, I wasn't really able to find any um, thing out there that I thought uh, made it really easy to understand and hopefully that's the goal of this video. Um, the MuleBot here is set up uh, for a 1.4 RAMS board and uh, Mega Arduino and this uh, tuning of the drivers will work for this, the MuleBot, but also any 3D printer that uses a, a RAMS 1.4 board. Um, for this printer, there's really going to be two drivers that you're going to select either the A4988, which will be more common, or the DRV8825, which I am currently using. And based on which driver you've selected, uh, you're going to want to set the voltage uh, differently. The uh, AV988 uh, basically works off of um, uh, 2.5 times the rated voltage of your stepper motor. So all the stepper motors on my printer are 1.5 amps. So basically you just take 1.5 and divide it by uh, 2.5. So um, you would set the driver if you're using uh, the same steppers as me in the a 498 to about 0.6 um, uh, volts. And uh, the DRV8825, which I currently have, is 2 to 1. So with the same 1.5 amp uh, stepper motors, you're going to set it to 0.75 amps. Okay, you can see here I have the uh, controller open. And you can see the uh, RAMS board with the four DRV8825 drivers. The first thing I'm going to do is to check voltage. So... To check voltage, just turn your multimeter to DC. And then one probe I'm going to ground. And then the other probe I'm going to uh, put on the potentiometer. And you can see uh, it's reading 6.7 volts. Uh, earlier I said for the DRVV it recommends a uh, 7.75 volts. And so this is set a little bit lower, which is fine. Um, you can run as low as possible as long as you're not missing steps. If you start missing steps, you're going to want to turn it up. So there are two ways that you can adjust voltage. You can either um, adjust your voltage uh, by turning the potentiometer. Um, you, but you need to do that while power is off. If power is on, you can short and uh, ruin your driver so you would turn it off adjust your um, driver and then uh, turn it back on again and then test it but the method i'm going to show you is a little more uh, risky so don't blame me if you uh, uh, ruin your driver but it is a lot faster and a lot easier to do and as long as you make sure that your uh, 
uh, you're grounded, then you won't have a problem. So what I'm going to do instead is um, I'm going to take uh, these alligator clips I have and um, I'm going to attach these to the probe of my multimeter. Um, and then that way I know I'm grounded. So this end I'm going to ground first. And then this end I'm going to use to adjust my potentiometer. Um, and you can see when I adjust it, if I turn it to the right, it goes down. And if I turn it to the left, it goes back up. So I'm going to turn it back to uh, 0.65 where it was. Uh, so that's how you do that. You want to do, do that for each each one of your drivers. I hope you found that helpful. If you have any comments, just leave them below. Uh, I'll leave a link to the Mostly Printed 3D Printer Facebook group. Uh, maybe I'll see you there. And until the next one.